Okay, now that you've got your audience set up, it's time to build your signup form. Basically, your signup form is your opt in link, your opt in page. This is the thing that people will go to to give you their name and email address. There are a lot of different ways that you can build signup forms. Um, once you're in your audience, all contacts will go to the signup form here. And you can see here we've got form builder, embedded forms, pop up, form integration. The first one I'm going to show you is the form builder. Embedded forms is really great if you are using this on your website and you know creating an opt in form to collect emails there. But in general, if you want to add this to like Linktree or your Instagram bio or other pieces of content where the call to action is to join the email list, you'll want to make sure you have this done. So let's head into form builder. And basically you'll keep this form right here, the same. And in here you have a link. That is what you'll use to share this uh, opt-in form, this sign up form, if you will. And this build it is where you get to choose what information you want. So it automatically comes with first name, last name, email address, you can add different blocks here if you want. So you just click that and it adds it. Um, you can just remove it by hitting that and then typing delete. And that goes away. So once that's done, something you might want to consider adding is you know, join, join this email list to get 10% off your first purchase. Um, whatever that sweet juicy detail is that you want to add. We'll dive more into that in other lessons, but you'll want that to be right here. And just know you can always come in and change this. I like changing this because this just pulls from what your audience name is. That's more of an internal thing. So I just remove it. Um, that's totally up to you to do, but I wouldn't call it your master list. You can basically just say, have your business name up there. Perhaps you change it and you oh, you add a graphic. We can just insert that here. Oops. Let's see, ta-da. You might have text here, but you're totally able to do whatever you want here to embody your brand or a message. So the biggest thing I like to tell people is to make sure that you do have the first name. We'll do a little bit of customization as you build your email campaigns that include using the field tag. So anyone who uses it, we're able to say like, hello, Emily, hello, Julie. And what I definitely like to have people do is hit required field. Because you can imagine if someone doesn't do it and some other people do, you're writing hello, first name with that tag and it doesn't know what to pull because it doesn't have a first name. So when you make it required, someone does have to fill that in. And then the email address is of course required because this is an opt-in form for email marketing. So then we head over to design it. This was a little finicky last time I was using it. Oh, was it gonna do it again? Oh no. Let's see if I can just refresh. There we go. So under design it, you'll have page, body, forms, referral patch. The biggest thing to think about is just making this at least clean or on brand. So potentially for you, if your background, just want to keep this nice and white, you can do it that way. You can see this looks just a little bit cleaner. Uh, you can change the body. So this section here would be a different color. So maybe you just want to make that a little bit more like, I don't know what that color is gray, a little gray, almost purplish. I'm sure everyone sees color very differently. Um, you can make the subscribe button a different color. So here's that button. When you look at the forms, you see a button here. So maybe you want to make the background black. We make the text color white. Okay, so then we hit enter. Usually that does the trick. I've been struggling to get this to actually update as quickly as I wanted to. So we'll just refresh the page and see if that works. It did not work. So we'll head back here, forms. So you can see that just didn't update for some reason. Of course, the day I'm trying to cut these videos for you guys, it's not playing nice. You know that hypothetically, this is basically what would be that color. Buttons hovered. So probably shouldn't even be turning that color, but it is. So 
just ignore that for now and trust that when you do this, these buttons actually do work. And you can go through this and customize really as much as you want. You can make your line heights different. You can do a different family font, sizing, text color. Of course, you know, this isn't going to show you anything because <laughs> there we go. Um, because nothing's really editing here. Um, but this is essentially what this looks like. So once you have this live, this is what you will take this link, save that, and make sure you have that easily accessible. So even if you have a new customer and perhaps they say they want to get on your email list and you haven't set up your automations that will teach you in the next lessons, just add their name, add their email, and they will get added to your master list. So this is the really simple section of building and creating your first sign up form. Just know there are a lot of options here when it comes to using sign up forms for specific audiences. So if someone's mentioning to you, yeah, you should really, you know, update so and such stuff for your MailChimp, this is where all of that information lies, okay? That is it for the sign up form training.